Hello, my dear Scorpios. How are you doing? Ready for the weekend? I hope that you're ready for the weekend, okay? All right, so I'm just going to do a, um, yesterday I did a quick read about a, a twin flame. So hopefully that is not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, um, it's not in a toxic relationship. Maybe just parted ways for a job and things like that. So, and you might be finding yourself with this person again. Okay, so we're going to go into a, this, um, a read here. And see what's going on for your weekend for Scorpios. If you'd like to receive a reading, um, it's $35. Please contact me through my email. Send the description box. And don't forget to click like and share and to support me on the algorithm of YouTube, okay? To help push me up to the algorithm. It's a long story how this thing works. But if you can, be so kind to support me with that and push the like button, okay? All right, let's see what's coming up for Scorpios here. Have you guys experienced what's coming up for Scorpios this weekend? What's coming up for Scorpio this weekend? Or what do you need to know for this weekend? All right, so let's see here. For Scorpio here. I hope God is protecting you and your spiritual practices and everything. All right. So, oh, wow. See, this is what I'm talking about. Passion. You have passion here. And wedding and past life relationship. This is tied to that. I feel like uh, this is tied to a marriage that you were in. And you have this special connection with this person. Okay, and there's a lot of passion here, a lot of chemistry that was in with this relationship. Now, this could be a person that you just broke up with or a person that, but they are that feeling of um, connected deeply. Okay, but you or both of you are feeling the uh, passion that you had before, the happiness that you had. And some of you were getting married or something um or some of you are already married or still married and just separated. Okay, so we're going to go into our cards here and to see what's going on. So remember, this is a general read. It's not going to suit everybody. It's not going to fit every Scorpio in the world. So cross watchers, uh, it could be affecting cross watcher energy. It could be your person's energy showing up as well. So whoever you have a soul tied to, understand it comes through the cards, okay? Sometimes it shows up. Angel, guys, and spirits, and God, please bless the cards for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Show me what's coming. Oh, wow, see, there's an emperor came out. Show me what the emperor means for Scorpio. What's coming up for Scorpio? All right, so show me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio. Uh, my dear Scorpio, and this is a full read, so um, so hopefully, uh, yeah, there is the Queen of Swords. You're still guarded with us. Whoever you were married to, or I feel like this is a marriage here, but or the commitment. Yeah, King, Queen of Swords, and the Emperor. Okay, great combination here. <laughs> And a Scorpio, right? As Scorpio. So let's see what I'm feeling here. Angel God Spirits. Two more. Okay. All right. See, this is a marriage, and the bottom of the deck is a Hierophant. All right, so we're going to keep that card out. And we're going to connect this. This deck to the next deck. Okay, just two separate decks. Oh, wow. Look at here. Scorpios. Oh, you got... Yeah, so you have the Emperor, right? So let's talk about these two cards. Um, I think this is the person you were married to. Male or female, it does not matter. Same sex, it does not matter. Genders do not matter in tarot. Please remember that. Uh, but I'm just going to use, you know, just based on what it is, Okay. So the emperor here, this could have been you or your person, and the queen of swords could have been you or your person. So um, what I'm getting from this is that the queen of swords is still protecting her heart. Your emperor here, the person you were married to or separated from, possibly could have gotten a divorce. 
Um, this is a deep connection here. This is someone that you you have been with for a while here. And, and I'm not saying like two weeks or a month. I mean like several months or a year and that you had, and this person hurt your heart. And you really felt that this person is your soulmate. And they are. This is the past life relationship that I was talking about yesterday as a twin flame. This is what it is. So you do have that soulmate connection, right? That deep, passionate connection that you were almost like a, together you, were, you felt like one. But with the Queen of Swords, something happened in beside this. And then with the Lover's card and the Justice card, this is why. Someone hurt you and in this relationship someone got badly hurt because the justice card is here to balance things out and to bring truth to the situation that you know your happiness was taken away your happiness was uh, split apart and this is what I was talking about the twin flame also she's holding uh, two sunlights from the sun okay so under that past life, this uh, is really a past life that uh, came into your life here, that you got married, you had a lot of passion, connection, and something happened here with that Queen of Swords. You thought the world of your person. You thought you, they were your everything. You would have walked on water for this person. You ha would have went, you went through a lot of bad times with this person. You stood by this person in everything. And like I said, this is, is kind of confirming that this is a spiritual marriage and bond from a past life relationship or past life, okay? Um, and you just connected, both of you. You had some deep, deep passion, especially in intimacy here. Uh, you felt like best friends. You felt like, you know, you couldn't live without each other. And you felt like, or not saying you can't live without someone, I don't want to say that, but more like, you did not want to live your whole life without this person or vice versa, okay? But they broke your heart somehow. They stole your happiness. They took your happiness away from you. All right, so let's see what that's about. All right, so the bottom of the deck was that Hierophant. So this is also on the, the second card was the Sun card in reverse. So you're, yeah, you're, you became very sad with the situation, okay? So let's see. So this is what happened. What's going to happen now um, for Scorpio? What? Okay. Here's the King of Pentacles. What does Scorpio's person want now? Why, what does per Scorpio's person want? What does Scorpio's person want? If they're returning, looks like they will. Because uh, the King of Pentacles there is ready to invest. Um, what does the Scorpio person want? Their past life relationship. Okay. You have the Five of Swords. And you have the Seven of Pentacles. What do they want to tell Scorpio? What do they want with Scorpio? Oh, wow. See you as the Empress. So let's talk about these two cards. Um, they want to come back to you with the King of Pentacles, or you want to go back to them. Um, they have went through some kind of hard times here, and if they if they went out with a third party, we'll see. But if they went out with a third party, because the Five of Swords is here and the Three of Swords is mixed up in those Five of Swords. They are now looking at their self as they don't want to deal with that person anymore. And it became a stressful issue for them. Okay. And the seven, and leading into that, um, the seven of pentacles and the empress here, you are standing your ground. You are telling this person, because they're going to reach out to you. They're going to call you. They're going to... Try to win your heart back. You have to remember to stay in your Empress power here, Scorpio. Um, don't cherry pick. Don't lose your power too easily by accepting this person right away back. Make them earn their way back to you because you are the Empress. And this is this is a person that was in a marriage um, or deep commitment. So 
I'm really still hearing that. Okay. So what they want right now is to come back and invest in you. And they're, they've just been going through a lot. And I, it could have been through a third party. It could have been just their life and having a hard time. Uh, they feel like they have been um, wasting their time. But don't give in to their power. The Seven of Pentacles here. So make sure you're making a wise choice. Making sure that you're doing the right that's best for you. So let's see. You see there's the Ace of Cups. Leading off with the energy of the Empress. All right, with that, okay, so let's ask. So it's kind of like I'm asking questions for you, okay. Okay, so the, what they want to do is talk to you and then come back to you and invest in you because they see you as the um, empress and see the overall energy was the emperor. And he, he or she feels like there's nobody better than you. They can't replace you. They probably tried to replace you, and they can't. It's one of those situations. And you are all they think about because now they're starting to realize the grass wasn't greener on the other side. They're realizing that they belong with you, that you treated them well. You took care of them when they were sick. Uh, you helped them in accomplish goals here with that empress. Okay, so with the Ace of Cups here, there's an opportunity for love here. And I can see that with the Passion card, Wedding card, and Past Life Relationship, and the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles, and the Empress and the Emperor. This is very evident here. So there's different steps you're going to have to make with this person, Scorpio. You're going to have to take baby steps and not jump gun ho into this, back into this relationship. You're going to have to kind of... Uh, take your time and do step by step and listen to what the person has to say. Let them prove to you how they care about you, okay? Because you're going to notice, okay? So what the thing is here is, yeah, they're holding on to you for the Four of Pentacles. Either you're holding on to them. could be both of you. They want that stability with you. They had love with you, and they know it. They have the best love, a perfect relationship, they think. And they're like... I gotta get Scorpio back because yeah, they're holding on to you. Emotionally they are. Maybe, you know, they might be pretending with other people they're not, but inside, yeah. They think about you day and night. Here with that Ace of Cups card. They can't stop thinking about you. And they're watching you. They're trying to see how you're gonna react to want to come back into your life. So that's all free will, Scorpio. So for this weekend. Now, I'm not seeing evidence yet of a narcissist or anything because we always see that. And the three of wands is in reverse. You're not going to be sure about this. You, you, that's why I said you're going to have to take your time with this person. Um, not waiting on them. Not, don't give them the benefit feeling like you're waiting on them. Saying like, uh, let them know that you are want to date other people and that um, your heart is open to love someone else. And until they show you something different, you're not going to give them any kind of benefit out. So there's a, you see, there's a third party here. Okay. And that's why I'm saying the five of swords just has that three of swords also inside, which caused a very, regardless, when someone goes to a third party, they're very stressed out and they start to realize they messed up. And so your person felt this energy is like, oh my gosh, you know, I messed up and uh, they want to cut that out. Because you're the Empress. They can't replace you. So let's see. Okay. All right. Angel Guides and Spirits for Scorpio. Two more cards leading off. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you look like here you were betrayed in that third party. All right. So you have the Seven of Wands. You're not, uh, and you have the file of cups. You're coming out of that regret. You're opening your heart here. You're starting to feel again. Oh, there's a One Republic, my favorite band, song called Feel Again. So this is how you're feeling. You're starting to warm up to possibilities of options to um, open your heart to someone else, and they can feel that energy. You had the seven of wands in reverse. You're not in the defense mode. You're not holding any kind of bitterness or anger. Maybe somewhat, but you are letting that, that go. And you're just not going to 
because you know it's not good to hold on to something that's not emotionally is not really healthy for you right okay so let me see here we're going to continue into the future here so right now that um this person is wanting to come back to you and hold you hold stay with you and hold you and build, rebuild this relationship is what i'm seeing but you shouldn't wait you know and do what you have to do but let them know that you are the empress and you're not going to settle for less here because they did they probably went out and got in a third party they had their fun the fun wore off and now they're like i'm in scorpio because scorpio is so good to me I mean, it's hilarious here. Some, it's just the things that people do. It's just mind-boggling me. So here's the Seven of Swords in reverse. See that? So, you're like, you know, you're. this could be your person, but now it's kind of like the swords have been dropped. Okay? You're not holding those swords anymore. That's why I said the bitterness. You're letting that bitterness go. You're not fighting on this. You don't look like you're waiting on this either, but... Um, you're very calm right now, Scorpio. You're not in that. And I'm proud of you for doing the work. It looks like uh, you're not going to allow this energy to affect you anymore. And you're in a happier place here. Okay. For Scorpio, King of Wands. Okay, so the King of Wands here. Um, oops, the Queen of Pentacles is underneath. Sorry, everyone. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, this, and Seven of Swords, and the King of Wands. Let's say it like that. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, what they're going here is, you know, I didn't see that Queen of Wands. That's kind of stuck to the card, but let's keep it. Um, yeah, this person feels they can't grow without you. They can't do a, have a good future without you. Uh, they, they are dropping their swords, too. They know they're going to have to come to you as a king of wands with nurturing love. Like the queen of wands, you have passion. The queen, king of wands has a lot of passion. And this could be you, Scorpio, as well, that you're not going to settle for less here. You're telling them, you know, hey, I need passion. I need this. If I'm not, if you're not going to do it, you know, let's say goodbye forever. So I'm not going through that again. You're, you learn this lesson, I get like a, like a lesson, like a, you know your worth. You have learned your worth. And you're not going to allow this person or anyone to ever step over your boundaries again. They won't do this again. Or you won't let them. Because you know you'll be gone forever. And they know that. And they know they're lucky to be able to get to speak to you. And they just want to. So it's kind of like you must have told them have a good life. I wish you the best. Or you said goodbye to them. But they're feeling like you must have gave them the silent treatment or disappeared or blocked them, that type of energy. And because they would not be dropping their swords if they feel like they can come back easy here. Because of the, also like Seven Swords is kind of like that energy too that people don't care what they do to you. Okay, so but they know now that you're the King of Swords. I mean the King of Wands. And you're not tolerating nothing else. You see, there's, see, there's the Ace of Cups. Your wish fulfillment here. You are their wish fulfillment. You are happy to be doing you. And see, that's what they did. And so I'm going to keep those two cards. This is the reason they what they did. And they know they left you on a car cold, abandoned you, went probably to a third party, stabbed you in the back. I don't know how many times, countless times. And they just really felt here, Scorpio, that um, you were always going to take them back. And there was, there was a trial thing here where you just had enough and you weren't going to do it no more. You're, you're just like tired of it. You know, like, hey, you want to stay with that third party? Go ahead. I got things to do. I'm doing me now. That's how the energy is coming off to this person. So they have seen you change here, Scorpio. They have seen that your value, they know your worth, and they feel like they have to get you back because they had a happy life with you. And they know they did. And they screwed it up. All right, so let's get one more. Well, let me change decks just for, there's the Nine of Pentacles. But let's see what's your final outcome. What's going to, what is this person going to say to you or what is going to happen between you and your person? What is this person, what's going to happen between Scorpio and this person, angels? 
God, what is going to, between Scorpio and this person, what is the, what's coming up for them? To let them know, please. Let them know what's coming up for them regarding this person. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to be concerned with this anymore. Where this thing used to bother you, stress you out so bad, and kept you up at night crying, and you name it, you know, the feel of that, those fears of, um, so here's a, the Wheel of Fortune and your happiness card. Here's the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so you do have options here because you know when this person did this to you, your life kind of came to a stop. It kind of, you stopped living, you stopped, um, doing you, you stop, but you have learned yourself now that you have options in the world too. So that's why I'm saying you're probably out dating right now, looking for love and the Ace of Cups is there. And this is, this person feels that you can walk away now as the Empress at any moment. You have the power back in your hands now, Scorpio. And that's what they know, that if they give you any reason to doubt them or step on that boundary, um, you're not back together yet. The Queen of Cups. They're seeing you as that Queen of Cups too. They, they want to bring this love to you, and they want your, they want your love back. They know they lost your love, um, and then it was precious. Could be dealing with another water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, or another Scorpio. Um, some Leos here. I don't get into all the cards, the zodiacs, because it can go for anybody. Um, but let's take two more for final outcome, please. They want to offer you this cup of love in the future. They want to get back with you. Um, I think you kind of went through a hard time here and you suffered and you had fears of this. But you now you don't even, it's kind of like you don't, you have became very confident. If this person stays gone, you're, you don't care, you know, one way or another. But this person knows you're like on the edge of finding someone new. They know your heart is starting to open here with that Ace of Cup. You're out. You're going to start looking for somebody. And they don't. They know if you get somebody else, it's, you're going to be with that person for a long term. With that Ace of Cups is a wish fulfillment. Wow, look at that. So this is what I'm saying. I'm not sure if you want it. They're going to come and want to talk to you about love and everything like that. With that Nine of Cups in reverse, you're going to have to really sit and think on this one. You're going to have to really sit. Wow, look what's on the bottom. The Scorpio card. Transformation. Because you have changed here. I mean, I really feel that you have so much passion. And you know now who you are. You are confident inside yourself. You are building yourself. You are focused on you. And you're like, okay, whatever he or she is doing, I don't care anymore. I'm letting that go. I don't want to deal with that. I just, no. I just want, I don't care. And so as time is going by with that will of fortune, you know, this is the will of fortune. Here's the future. All right. They're trying to stop this time here. They're trying to stop you wasting time. They're trying to stop your, you from getting another option here. And they know you're going to go out and give your love to someone else because you're at that place. You're at that good place now, Scorpio, to walk away from this and, and find someone else. And that is really bothering now. So on this other deck here, there's the passion card that was looking at me. And that matches with that passion card there. But yeah, King of Wands is also showing that passion. So this person has a lot of deep passion for you. Now if it's a narcissist or a toxic person, you know how I feel about that. They're abusive. You do not go back to this person. Okay, you don't. It's a no-no. But if this is a person that maybe you met a long time ago... Uh, you went different ways for whatever reason. You went to college or you broke up, you know, you met at work and you, someone moved for their career, you know how, and you got some help, you, that person was healthy for you. This is what I see. And, but this looks like someone that you were married to. And, but because I'm seeing that they stabbed you in the back and they abandoned you and neglected you, your feelings. And I strongly feel like this was a marriage. This was, or a deep, this is some, some time invested into this person. Because both the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups came out. The Empress and the Emperor came out. And you're, you're ready, like, I don't, I'm not stressing on this anymore. I'm not doing this. And the Queen, and he, and he or she is the Queen of Pentacles. 
which knows they're going to have to come to you in a peaceful way. Or if they plan to get you back, they're going to have to show some kind of improvement because you already got past this stage. You passed this, this, this crossover, this Scorpio card. And the second card after that was the happiness card, right? You're all about your happiness now. And either they fit in your life or they don't, okay? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. And so I hope that you enjoy this reading. And give me that like. if you a Thumbs up, please. Can we do it now? We'll count to three, okay? Please help me um, bring more uh, full readings to you. One, two, three. Okay, thank you, Scorpio, for pr pressing that like button for me. Um, and thank you so much for all your support and also making my friendships. I feel like I know a lot of you, like family now. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this has helped you uh, to build your confidence. To, you are feeling strong here. You have your confidence, your self-esteem back. You're doing your hair. You're getting your nails done. You're going to the gym. You're buying your nice clothes. You're, you know, you're on your way. You're thinking about where you're going to go on a trip. You know, all these, you're starting to think more about what's important for your life here. And you know, the crying has stopped. The regrets have stopped. The bitterness has stopped. So very good. The anxiety, depression has stopped. And this person's trying to stop you from getting another option. Here's what they're trying to do. But again, Scorpio, this is all free will. It's up to you. Okay, so you're, uh, we do forgive, but you know if you can if you can get past that, and if you feel like they're being sincere, you know that's completely up to you. Um, but if it was an abusive top way, you know definitely not. Okay, so that's what I have to say for you, and this is your reading. So thank you so much, sending you love and light, and I'll see you next time on the channel. Bye.